Hey guys in St. Lucia, what's going on? Remember to like, share, and subscribe to get notifications from this channel. It's good to be back with you in St. Lucia. St. Lucia, like all other Caribbean islands, um, seeing an upsurge in violent crimes and the likes. Remember, like I said, like all other Caribbean countries, so St. Lucia is not alone, but there's some things taking place that people are very, very concerned about. For instance, the death of this 15 year old, apparently, appears to be the latest murder which has taken the death toll so far for the year to 67 that is the murder toll on the island so far for the year 67 this is really gruesome so 15 year old is a youth and we're always concerned when youths are killed and this is the latest in saint lucia so what's really going on here well let's take a look at this story it says 15 year old girl shot dead in castries and police are investigating the tragic death of 15 year old janika riley jean Phillip. A girl shot dead in Castries has left the community in shock as police investigate. Well, according to law enforcement officials, officers from the Machad police station responded to reports of gunfire in the area. And upon their arrival, they found Shanika Riley Jane Phillips suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. She was immediately transported to the Owen King European Union Hospital, but was pronounced dead shortly by medical personnel they're saying that she's just 15 years old and her death has left her family and friends devastated residents who knew the teen have expressed deep sadness and anger over the loss of her young life and friends describe shanika as a joyful presence in their lives with one friend recalling how she would always always bring smiles to those around her she was a good friend to us when we were not happy. She was always there to make us smile. It's sad to see her go like this. Well, you know, once you have youth dying, it's always a problem. And her friends are going to miss her. But the crime rave is taking a toll on the Caribbean island. The circumstances surrounding her murder remains unclear. While there have been rumors regarding Riley's possible involvement in criminal activities, police have not yet confirmed any motive for the shooting. Authorities are continuing to gather evidence and are urging the public to assist with any information that they may lead to identifying the suspect or suspects involved. So this information is coming from unitedparksaintlucia.com. Unitedparksaintlucia.com. Apparently, they're saying that the circumstances surrounding her that remains unclear. However, there have been rumors regarding Riley's possible involvement in criminal activities, but police have not yet confirmed that. We can't say that either, but if that were to be the case, it would be sad, but it would not be the first. If it were to be, and we know in St. Vincent as well, even in Barbados, we've been seeing a lot of youths being involved in criminal activities uh, in a lot of Caribbean islands. So, but we don't know that as a fact, so we can't say that. As of now, no arrests have been made and the police remain tightly about potential leads. The investigation has heightened concerns about the increase in gun-related violence, particularly as more young people fall victim to these acts. Well, right through the Caribbean, whether it be St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, Jamaica, uh, Dominica, wherever it is, gun violence has been picking up a lot. And young people are at the center of the gun crime and the gun violence and the receiving end, okay? Riley's death has marked the 67th homicide in St. Lucia this year, reflecting the ongoing escalation of violence in the country. That is a serious, serious, serious problem in St. Lucia. Whenever we get more information, we definitely follow up on this, but also in Spain's spent shells recovered in Groselet. And this was on the 18th of October, St. Lucia police investigating the discovery of human remains. While processing the scene, investigators recovered multiple spent shells. Officers had proceeded to the area on Wednesday after learning that a Payat or Groselet man had sustained fatal gunshot injuries in a forested area of Manua. Pathologists confirmed that the remains found in the air were human and a post-mortem examination will occur at a later date and analysis of human remains will be done to obtain formal identification. Well, if you want to know that this issue of human remains have been popping up in a lot of Caribbean islands, something that is really taking root in the Caribbean and the islands, the escalation of violence, it's really getting out of hand. And if we don't do something about it pretty soon, we have to find measures, ways, all kind of new measures to deal with these things. People say it starts in the home. So to be teaching children to be tolerant and all that kind of stuff because a, young, a lot of young people are being involved in these crimes now. So we'll see how it goes. And I hope that the islands find ways and means of dealing with the crime situation. Like I said, cast no aspersions on St. Lucia. It's not St. Lucia alone feeling the issue, okay? Until then, take it easy, take care.